Welcome back to the Wiki Show. Today we are going to look at talk pages. What are talk pages? Talk pages are where editors can discuss improvements to Wikipedia. Every page on Wikipedia has a corresponding talk page. This includes articles, user pages, wiki projects, administration pages, deletion discussions, and more. The main types of talk pages are article talk pages and user talk pages. The same formatting rules apply to most talk pages. Let's talk about each one. User talk pages. User talk pages are for communicating with individual editors. Each registered user has a talk page, and unregistered IP users also have a talk page that is connected to the IP address. If another editor needs to leave you a message about an edit or an editing issue, they will use your user talk page. If another editor helps you on a page, you can leave them a message on their talk page. As a registered user, if someone leaves you a message, you will get a notice in the notification area. As an unregistered user, you'll get an orange information notice at the top of the page. Article Talk Pages An article talk page is where editors discuss proposed changes, share related information, and settle editing disagreements. Basically, anything directly related to improving that Wikipedia page. An article talk page is a place for all interested editors that may edit the page. Unlike user talk pages, which are for specific editors, article talk pages are for all editors. If you make a significant revision, you might leave a message on the talk page to let other editors know in more detail what changes you made. If there's an editing conflict, use the talk page to discuss the issue. How to use a talk page. Leaving a message. To leave a message, open the talk page and select edit. If the talk link is in red, no talk page exists. Go ahead and click on the button and start a new talk page for that subject. To leave a message, add a new section at the bottom of the page and give the section a name. Below the section header, leave your message. Sign your name before publishing the message. To sign your name, type four tildes at the end of the message. This will leave your username and timestamp. Or, if you're in the visual editor, you can find the template under Insert More Your Signature. Making a reply. To respond to a talk page message, post beneath the same section you want to reply to. This keeps the conversation together. Then use an indentation for each reply. To add an indentation, use a colon. Each reply should have one more colon than the previous reply. Each additional colon creates a new level of indentation. This way you can see each response in the order they were made. It should look something like this. Notifying a user. You can notify a user of a message by linking to their user page in your post. At the start of your reply, add this template. Then type your message, remembering to sign it. Talk page sandbox. As a registered user, you could use the user talk page sandbox to test templates and formatting. This sandbox will mimic the formatting of a real talk page. When you're signed into your account, go to your talk page. Then go to the URL and add forward slash sandbox, then press enter. It will take you to a page that looks like this. This is your user talk page sandbox. You can practice your talk page skills here. Guidelines. Be civil. Assume good faith of other editors. Remember, sign your posts, including replies, each time you leave a comment on a talk page. Start new discussions at the bottom of the page. Leave an edit summary. You can put talk pages on your watch list to help keep up with a conversation. And remember, talk pages are public and anybody can see the content. Until next time, don't be a vandal.